In this video, we will walk through the process of converting a wheel to a tubeless tire system. Hello, Calvin Jones here with the Park Tool Company. If you're new to tubeless systems, we highly recommend checking out this repair help article on tubeless standards and component compatibility. Converting from an inner tube system to a tubeless system can be done, but there are limitations. Ideally, the tire and rim should be designated as tubeless ready or tubeless conversion system in order to get an acceptable bead seal at the rim. This designation may appear on the product itself. This may also appear in the information provided by the manufacturer. However, there are no true industry-wide tubeless ready fit standards and results can vary in consistency. You will need scissors, a seal pick or small cross-tip screwdriver, tubeless valves, tubeless rim tape, and rags for cleaning. Additional supplies are required for tire installation. These are covered in the appropriate video. Prepare the rim by removing any inner tube style rim strip. Clean inside of the rim channel using a solvent that will not leave an oily film, such as with alcohol or acetone. Choose a sealing tape of an appropriate width for the rim. If the tape is too narrow, the seal will not be airtight. If the tape is too wide, it may interfere with the bead seat. Begin by engaging the tape at least one spoke hole away from the valve. Pull on the tape as you press it firmly to the rim surface. Be sure to evenly place the tape. If the tape is poorly placed, such as in this example, there will not be a good seal. Pass over the valve hole again so the tape is overlapped and cut the tape. Locate the valve hole. Use a seal pick or a small Phillips screwdriver to punch a round hole through the tape. In this example, a knife was used to cut the hole. The tubeless valve may have trouble covering this cut. This can result in a compromised seal. There are different styles of tubeless valves and they vary in length and the design. Insert the valve through the tape and through the valve hole. Be sure the fitting is properly aligned inside the rim. Install the O-ring, if any, and install the valve nut. Make sure the nut is secure. Once the rim is sealed with tape and the valve is installed, the installation process is the same for any standard tubeless system. However, there's a few troubleshooting tips specific to converted tubeless systems. Getting a good seal on the tubeless conversion can take time, so don't expect to ride immediately. Check the tire in a few hours and see if it is properly sealed. If it's leaking, add more air and continue to spin it to move the fluid around the interior. It can take some time, even days, for the tire to fully set up. Tire sidewalls can vary in their ability to hold air. In this example, a non-tubeless tire was used in a conversion. It is seeping air through the sidewalls. The seal it inside may, in time, help stop this leakage. For the process of tubeless tire installation, see this video. For more information on standards, compatibility, and component selection, see this repair help article at parktool.com. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for the latest videos from Park Tool.